Hey guys, Tom Zhang here. Today I'm making a short presentation on this application called Converter. Uh, notice it's spelt very uniquely. It's Converter without the last E. And uh, it's very unique. And I think the uniqueness of the naming system is displayed also throughout the uh, application. As you'll see, the graphics are very, very well polished and uh, the graphics user interface is very very easy friendly um, now I do want to mention that uh, when you look for converter uh, it's converter without the last E uh, it is not available in the uh, iPad apps because it does not have a native app for the iPad now you might be wondering how am I uh, able to run this application on my iPad and the answer is because uh, iPhone and iPod applications, you can run them in compatibility mode, the 1X and 2X compatibility mode uh, in iPad. Um, so iPad users, be sure to download the iPhone uh, version of the converter because frankly there is no other version to uh, pick from. Uh, and let's see here, there's some description here but it's very self-explanatory as you'll see when I run the application. Uh, many many great ratings and let me fire up the application itself. It is right here. And do notice it is not compatible with landscape so you would have to uh, turn it over and uh, run it in the portrait mode and, uh, you know, it's, it's beautiful, you know, even if it's in the stretched 2x compatibility, compatibility mode, it still looks uh, high, defini high definition like. Um, and that is a, a bonus point for the author here. And to be honest with you, I've used a lot of conversion uh, tools. Uh, anything from free to $4.99, you name it. You know, I paid some applications $6.99 and turned out to be completely junk. And I must say, uh, this application by far is the best in both the free category and the paid category. I'd be happy to pay $6.99 for this application right now. Okay, so let me just demonstrate uh, some of the features. Um, so, uh, to start off, data rate. You know, earlier I was calling uh, my um, uh, my data company, and uh, they were explaining to me uh, in terms that uh, I was I always get confused in. So here's what happened. They told me that uh, uh, they will provide 15 megabits but I thought they meant 15 megabytes so here is the problem megabits per second 15 megabits per second is equal to 1.875 megabytes per second and this bottom value here is what you usually see when you download a uh, software um, so anyways, that's what I was getting confused in, and I wish I had this application at my hand so I could have, you know, do a little bit of conversion, but anyways, never too late. Um, so, and notice I can change the conversion from to uh, these uh, placements by just tapping on one of these uh, columns. And say, for instance, I want to convert currency. I want to convert, uh, let's see, U.S. dollars. Let's say I spent $4.99, $4.99.99 for this iPad 2, and I want to convert it into, let's see, Chinese renminbi. That's 3,263 Chinese. Um, actually, I think the actual price in China for an iPad 2 is a lot higher than that. So uh, those of you who have iPad 2s, be sure to sell to somebody in China. They'd be happy to pay you lots of money for, uh, for your iPad 2. And, you know, things like mass, if you're going to a European country, you know, we use, we use pound in America. And so if you want to say I weigh 185 pounds, you want to convert that into 
in European countries they use kilo and so you would be 83.9 kilo uh, if you're 185 pounds now let's see what else they have speed uh, you know in America we use miles per hour so let's say I was driving at about 75 and um, in European countries they use kil kilometers per hour so you'd be at 120 and let's see what else we have time okay uh, remember in physics there's like always asking me how many seconds in a day so 24 hours in a day and uh, 86,400 seconds in, a, in 24 hours which is a day so uh, that's pretty much it and then the uh, there's an info button down here um, you can change the precision which is the number of digits it goes to currency updates and that's about it so this is a very simple very easy to use application very well polished if you're looking for a conversion program um, and you are just tired and sick of looking everywhere for a decent uh, conversion program be sure to check out converter that's converter without the last e um, so anyways guys please go ahead rate comment and subscribe to my youtube channel add me on facebook and uh, until next time i'll see you here at tomzane.us thanks